Hello guys, it's Desiree Alexander, AKA Educator Alexander. And I wanna show you today how to create a Jeopardy game using Google Slides. Now you can create other things as well. I'm gonna show you a Jeopardy game. The thing I'm gonna show you an instructional self-paced handout that uses the same format. So let's jump in. This is going to be more than a five minute video, but I'm actually going to show you quickly how to do it because I know you can rewind the video and rewatch it. So this is what your Google Slide screen looks like when you first get into your Google Slide. So I'm going to do a couple of things just to help myself out. I'm going to exit the themes. I don't want this slide with these, um, these text box on it. So I can just click them and delete them. Or what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come here to the little arrow and just create a blank slide. So this one could be my title, like Jeopardy. Hopefully I can spell on this video. All right, so um, you know you can put whatever you want on the title slide. So I'm gonna start here with my Jeopardy game. And of course I would name my file and all those good practices for using Google Slides. So I'm actually gonna come here to insert table. So let's say we have 100, 200, 300, 400, I'm doing that backwards, four topics, and then 100, 200, 300, and 400 questions. Okay, just for an example. So I'm gonna actually come here and make my table a little bit bigger. Yay, that's perfect. And then I'm going to come here and type. So let's say my topics are dog, cat, fish, and monkey. Because I love monkeys. Okay, so those are my topics. And then I want a $100 question, 200, 300, and 400. So what I'm going to do, oh, move. I'm, I'm going to highlight these and copy and then come here to paste i don't have to even type those over again i'm done with that all right so now this looks a little weak right so i'm gonna do some formatting and all of this stuff that i'm showing you you can you, of course do whatever you want to with it but i'm gonna come here and make these bigger because that looks a little again that looks oh no, that's a little bit too big uh, that looks a little weak maybe 40 let's see how that ah oh, that looks perfect okay and i may come here and like move them to the middle i may want to come here and let's say i want to do a fill color and if you're sitting there right now going wait just pause pause the video and start it whenever you need to so I'm going to come here to fill color. And let's say I'm gonna make this like a darker gray. There we go. I don't like that. I'm gonna come here and make another color. Love purple. All right, so I have that. I can make this, you know, I'm just gonna leave that white. I'm actually going to highlight the whole thing again. So you have some different options here. You can do border weight. I'm gonna make my border weight a little bit thicker. So you see how that makes the lines look a little bit better. I'm gonna highlight the whole thing again. I'm actually going to change the border color. Since I have that purple, let's go ahead and put some gold. Ooh, it's looking fancy, y'all. All right, so then I can come here. I can change the font. I can make all my stuff bold. So all the stuff that you would do in a regular slide or regular um google doc you can do here you can change the color of it i may go ahead and change the word color all right so i have my slideshow you saw that was pretty simple to do but it's simple to do because i'm used to using it so if this was something that you're like okay i'm so confused again stop go back you can rewind it it's a video you're good okay so now what I need to do is I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus eight again. So I have 16 little boxes. So I'm going to need at least 16 slides for my questions. But I'm not just going to go and click like repeat, 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 repeat. Not just yet. 
I'm going to make one slide. And again, I want it to be a blank slide. If you want it to be blank, whatever type of slide. If you want to come here to the little arrow, you can choose the type of slide that you want to do. And now on this one, I'm going to make this dog 100. And I'm going to type my question here. So I'm going to do a text box. Now, I'm not going to make all these cute guys. So uh, like I'm typing text. Dog 100. What type of dog is this? Again, I'm not going to do anything cute on this slide. To insert a picture, I can go to insert image. And I'm just going to search the web. I'm going to type in dog and hit enter. And that's fine. I'm going to double click, don't single click, double click on the dog. On this picture, I can make the picture big by just dragging it from the corners or small. You should never use this middle. If I use the middle, look how he looks. We don't want our dog to look like that. So I'm going to undo that. So there you go. And then I'm still not going to make a lot of slides just yet. On the slides that have the questions, I'm going to need some kind of button that people can press to get back, or I, if I'm presenting it, to get back to this first slide. And that's going to make sense a little bit later. But I need some kind of icon on here or some kind of word. So if you want to put a word that says back to game, that's fine. I'm actually going to do both just so I can show you they both work. So I'm going to put back and then i like to put a little house so i'm going to go to insert image search the web i'm going to look for home i think house doesn't pull up i, I, I don't know why but home does so again i'm going to double click 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 make this a little smaller and put it right here so, okay, so before I start duplicating this slide, I'm going to show you what I need to do. So, all of these numbers, I need to hyperlink two different slides in the slideshow. Hyperlink two different slides in the slideshow. So what I'm actually going to do, I did this just as a, um, you know, to show you, but I'm actually going to delete this and I'm going to show you why. I like to work smarter, not harder. So anything I can do to cut off some time, I'm going to do. So if I'm doing this in real life, I'm going to go ahead and put my little thing right here. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do before I duplicate. So let's do one of these. I want dog 100 to go to slide three. So I'm going to highlight 100 and I'm going to go to the little hyperlink button. You can also go to insert link. You can hit control K. There's several ways to do this. So I'm going to go to the hyperdoc button and I'm not going to type in a website like we would usually do for if I click that, it goes to Walmart. I'm actually going to go to slides in this presentation. And I want it to go to slide two. And I'm going to hit apply. Now you see it kind of starts looking like a real Jeopardy game, right? I will warn you, when you get down to the bottom of these, if I come here, slides, sometimes you can't see all the slides and it's a little annoying. I'm sure there's some kind of trick for that. But what I usually do is I will just take the text box and move it up. Or I, oh, or I would have to come here and try to make my screen a little uh, smaller. Okay, so it's just different stuff you have to do to kind of get that. There's probably a tip out there that makes that easier. I just don't know it. So that's just a little, just so you won't beat your head against the wall when you get to that. That 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 does seem to happen sometimes. Um, so I may have to actually, since this is a, a table, I may have to do this right? Make my table smaller. When I have text boxes, I just move it to the top, but make my table smaller. And then I should be able to see all of them when I go here and go here and go here. I should be able to see more of them. So just a little tip. Okay. So I'm going to 
click undo to bring my table back to how it was. So now that we know how to do this, right? We know how to make this go to this. Every slide that you create after your main Jeopardy board, this little button or the word has to go back to slide two. So I'm gonna click here, hyperlink, bring it back to slide two. You see how it's cut off? Bring it back to slide two. So I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. That's what I mean by when I have a text box, I can just move it up and then move it back down. So I'm gonna highlight the word, hyperlink, slide. Oh, apparently I have to move it up further than that. Slide two, apply. All right, so now both of these are ready to go. Now, the reason why I deleted the first question and I wanted to just, just have this little house, I usually don't do the work. I just wanted to have this house here is because I can duplicate the slide and I never have to do this house again. So I may want to come here again, work smarter, not harder and put a text box for the title, right? Title and money. I'm just gonna put TM for title and money. And then I'm gonna put another text box on here for the question. So now what I'm gonna do to create my, what do we say, eight, 16 slides, is I'm going to duplicate. So I'm gonna come here, right click and hit duplicate slide, okay? I can just keep doing that, keep doing that. I can also click, Oh, I'm oh, clicking the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Ah, no, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. I can also come here and copy the slide. And then I can just hit Control V on my keyboard. Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, right? That may be a little bit easier. You can also come here. No, I'm, I'm not going to. So Control V, Control V. I want to just keep it simple. So I have 16 sides. So that's all of my questions. If I come here, notice this is still linked to slide two. This is still linked to slide two, and I have a place to put all of my questions. Work smarter, not harder. So now I can come here and put that this is, act like this is the dog question. I'll put this as TM1, and I'm just doing this to for purpose uh, display purposes, and TM3, okay? So, um... Now I'm going to come here and say I want 200 to link to slide four. It may just be my computer that does. No, it's not because I've been in trainings before and it did it to other people. I want 300 to go to slide. I hope I did that right. Slide five. I think I did the right slide. If I didn't, you get what I'm doing. Slide five. And there I go. So now I'm going to present, and I'm gonna show you a trick with this in a second. So I'm gonna come here to present, and let me show you, look how good that looks, even though you know it's not perfect, but it looks okay. So, okay, now we're gonna talk about dogs. I want dog 100. Okay, sweetie, dog 100. It's just not gonna work for me up here. Oh, I think I changed the slide. Did I change the slide? I think I did, I deleted that slide. Okay, I want, 200, all right? So 200 goes to two, 300 goes to three, and notice how I'm clicking back and it brings me back to this. I can also click the house and it brings me back to this. So I'm going to go ahead and exit this. So slide 100 is going to the, to the same slide. So it shouldn't go to slide two. It's like, okay, I'm bringing you back to where you asked me. You wanted to be here, I brought you here. Uh, I'm going to size in this presentation. Let's bring it to just one of the other ones. All right. So there you go. That's how you create this. If you want to present it, if you want to be the one that's clicking the button, then you're good. That's all you have to do. You're done. You see how this works. You click that, you click back, you click this, you click the house, you're done, right? If you want to send this to your student so the student can do this themselves, 
you can use an extension called Sir Links a Lot. And I'm gonna let that stay on the screen just for a second. Sir Links a Lot. So you can download Sir Links a Lot, just Google Sir Links a Lot extension. And I like Sir Links a Lot. I can come here and shout out to Kirk. I can come here and hit preview. And I can send my students this preview link. So I can go put this in an email. I can send it on Class Dojo. And of course, I can put it in Google Classroom. I'm just going to hit go to so you can see how it looks. What it does is it puts it in this screen. Okay, so it puts it in a preview screen to where they're not seeing all of the stuff on the side. So when they come here and click on 100, they see this and then they click the house to go back. So they can actually do this by themselves. They can do the review by themselves. Now, there is a little glitch to this. It's not a glitch, it's just how slideshows work. Is that if you do send that to your students and they get it in present mode, they have to understand that they have to click on the question and they have to click on the house. If they don't, this is what's gonna happen. If I just click somewhere random, it's just going to go through the slideshow like a normal slideshow. I mean, they still get to see all the questions, right? But it's just going to go through the slideshow like a normal slideshow if they don't click on the right stuff. So you just have to teach them to click on the right stuff if they want it to work and they actually want to have fun with it. If not, they can just go through all the questions and still have fun, hopefully. All right. So that is how you do a Jeopardy game. And again, I know I went super quick, but it's a video. You can rewind it. Now I'm going to show you like the master. I want to give a shout out to Nadine. Nadine does these and they're so beautiful. And she puts pictures and she's putting pictures on top of pictures and just really, really cool how she creates this. And I actually put some of these on my website. So you can come here and you're going to click. So it says click to go to the next. So I'm going to click. And then look what she did. She actually, and I want to point out her Twitter handle, point out her website because she did, She does such good work, guys. So you see that she actually made an instructional sheet that's interactive using Google Slides. And she did the same thing that we just talked about. She built a chart. She put these words. She hyperlinked the words. So when I click on Google Classroom integration, it brings me to this slide. She put a video here and there's a house somewhere on her slides. Cause if you know how this works, you know to look for the house. So if I look for the house, it's gonna bring me back here. Now again, if I'm a student and I'm just gonna click anywhere, it's just gonna bring me through every slide. So there's no way to really stop that from happening. But again, when I first got this, I didn't even think to do that. I just automatically went and, and clicked the house because you get used to how these work. So just look how awesome you can create a Jeopardy game. You can create an instructional sheet. There's several uses for this tool. And hopefully I have helped you do it pretty quickly. And now mine looks like a cartoon drawing compared to, I mean, like you go... He go from this to this and was like, wah, wah. But at least you saw how to do it quickly. And you can make this as fancy as you want to. And you are done with your five minute, way over five minute tip for today. Have a good day.